All right, good morning, Wolverines. What we're doing today, Strand 4, Logic Gate Simulator 2. This one's a little bit different. The, uh, now, to do the exercise like the other ones, click on the Logic Gate Simulator link. You, and here's the Logic Gate Simulator website. At the Logic Gate Simulator website, you're going to bring in two toggle switches. And you're going to bring in two light bulbs. And for the initial setup, let me go back here and show you. This is two exclusive or, or gates, so let me bring those in. And you want to bring in two end gates. You're not going to use them initially. And once you get those brought in, you want to connect it up. The, the top switch kicks to, connects to the top input of both gates. And the bottom switch connects to the bottom input of both gates. The outputs just go straight to the light bulbs. And what you're trying to do here is your, oh, there's three switches. Oops, I missed. Let me bring the third switch in. I missed that third switch. And let's see how it's connected up. Oh, okay. One of them, there, like that. So the top switch connects to both gates. The middle switch connects to the top one. Bottom one connects to the bottom only. And what you're trying to do with this is you want the top one to be an enable. You turn the motors on. And you want the other ones to be a way of turning the motors off, simulating a, like a bumper switch that the bumper switch is on it shuts the motor off and so it shuts off for one this one shuts off for the other here's the problem if i turn off this that's the power switch um this still turns power to the that so what you got to solve is figure out how to hook these end gates in so that when this top switch is off the other ones do not turn the light bulbs on. That's your challenge for today. Have a great day. That's all.